we walked in and and we looked like we looked like assholes. Uh, we were in, you know, trunks, a t-shirt, looking for, you know, a really, really, really good cheap cigar. Good afternoon. This is Luke, the Double A Pipe Man. I hope everyone's everyone's doing well out there. Uh, cloudy, kind of rainy day here. Took the pup out a few times. Got wet. Uh, not uh, not great for for pipe smoking. Um, I had a, a little little bowl this morning, and uh, <laughs> one of my one of my sixteen for the day. Uh, I'll um, I'm actually I, I'm gonna put a link down in the uh, the bucket for uh, that. Uh, that's it's not a story. It's a uh, a vignette, I guess. Uh, that Christopher Morley wrote. 120 years ago on uh, the last pipe of the day and he that's where he he says you know 16 uh, any any sensible man would be having 16 a day but uh, yeah I had a bowl a little bowl of Pegasus this morning in a in a cob out with the dog and uh, I'm smoking something different now in my uh, 7LE702. Smoking some uh, uh, Reiner Gold. Um, beautiful, beautiful tobacco. The, uh, the 10, the big 10, 100 grams. Uh, yeah, Gold Blend 71, a blend of Virginia from the USA and from Southeast Africa with a little white burley and a touch of Perique. Long flake slices rolled. Beautiful in there. Just ton of tobacco. Let me see if I can pull one of these flakes out. So yeah, it's, it's 100 grams of this stuff. It's 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 one long flake. It's like fruit by the foot in there. It smells like fruit by the foot. Beautiful flakes. Um, this is just a little cutting I had done done earlier, but they. Yeah, they just, they come out just, they're just, they're beautiful. And, uh, I love these, these tins because they, they remind me of the LJ Pretty tins where you can just, you seal them right back. You don't have to jar it. Um, and this, yeah, this will just get better and better and better. There is a a slight top note. Uh, I mean, I think it even says it on here uh, of honey and orange, but it is it is so light. If it if it's even there, I, I know it says it on the tin, but I mean, it is uh, it is light. Takes a little coaxing. I had to. It takes. It's not a. It's not a one match affair. And probably probably not that best for for chit chat. But we'll we'll see if I can keep it going without burning my tongue off. Um. Thanks again uh, for all the all the nice comments and support. I I really appreciate it. It, it kind of kind of keeps me going. 
and uh, I like doing these these videos after lunch. Uh, something to something for me to look forward to. Um, <clears throat> so today I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk about the the very first uh, very first pipe I ever had. Um, I was in uh, I was in college. In Lubbock, Lubbock, Texas. Good old dusty Lubbock, Texas. And uh, a friend of mine lived in this uh, this apartment, and uh, he had a fountain in 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 the front. And. Uh, large-ish fountain and uh, anyone from Texas or that has been to Texas in the summer knows that it is hot very hot and we had this little thing we do on the weekends uh, we had a, a set of inner tubes and we just go sit in the fountain and you know drink beer and you know wave at the the girls that would drive by uh <laughs> no lifeguard on duty uh for darn sure and one day uh this friend of mine who I will not name to to protect the innocent I was coming over, we were going to float. He was like, hey, we should go check out this, uh, this tobacco shop up the way and, and get some cigars uh, to sit out in, the, uh, out in the fountain. And uh, this shop had opened. It was a quick walk. He, at the time, he, he really... Uh, smoked uh, cigarettes um, that's never really been my my jam I I'll roll one from time to time uh, but I man I really have to be in the mood and it's uh, or abroad <laughs> it's kind of like uh, with them being so frowned upon and and they are they're terrible for you. Uh, it's different though. It's different sitting in, in Paris and everyone's drinking coffee and, and wine and smoking cigarettes and it, 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 that, that is a different thing. But anyway, that's a story for a different day. Um, so we walk up to this, this, this shop and, uh, if I remember correctly, it was uh, it was a Heroes and Legacies, and, and I, I think there were a few of those in Texas, but they they had opened one in Lubbock. And we walked in, and and we looked like we looked like assholes. Uh, we were in you know trunks, a t-shirt. Looking for, you know, a really, really, really good, cheap cigar. <laughs> we would have been better stopping at the gas station. But uh, we're looking around, and I, I see these, these corn cob pipes. For cheaper, I, I, we could buy two of them for cheaper than, than one of the cigars we were looking at. I was like, "Hey, man, let's let's do this. Let's uh, let's get some of these." And uh, they had all these, you know, jars of tobacco. And at the time, I just had no I had no idea what I was looking at. And uh, we smell them all and end up grabbing. You know, the guy's like, "How much do you want?" Uh, 
So we get a, a baggie's worth. Can't even remember the, the weight. And, you know, walk out of the shop and just, it's just like pow, shoving it in there. No idea. Uh, I mean, we, we were probably, our tongues were toast by the time we got back to his apartment. We never should have even attempted it then. Uh, but we get back and hop in, got our pipes, floating in, the, in this fountain, smoking cord cob pipes. Uh, and, God, we, we, so dumb. But I'll tell you what, it, I, I loved it. There was something about it. I I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed it, and we were smoking some goopy aromatic, uh, I wish the guy would have sold us some Carter Hall, but we we didn't know what to ask for. Um, we had it was like a coconut something or other. It, it, I don't remember it being great. But I stuck with it, and I remember coming home from work one night, long day, and I went and dug that pipe up and uh, filled it. I think at that point I Googled, you know, like, what am I doing here? Uh, you know, the, 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 the classic three-step method, and... Uh, I used to sit in the back of my truck at the time, Texas, and um, yeah, I would I'd smoke my pipe after work, and you know, got better and better and better at at keeping it lit, and it's all the things you you, you start with. It's like loading it, just trying to keep it lit, um, which with Virginia's is you know a, a continual problem, and. Uh, that's where it started. Um, it started, my very first pipe was, was floating in an, an inner tube in a, a residential fountain in college, corncob pipe. And uh, I actually met up with this, this buddy last year. Uh, we went to Mexico for Valentine's Day with our, our uh, my spouse and, and his girlfriend. Uh, and I brought a pipe with me. And uh, he's still... Uh, he's still smoking the cigarettes. But... Uh, I, uh, I stuck with the pipe. And uh, that... It's just so interesting. that I mean, that's where it started. And uh, I kept with it. Things have changed. Um, No more fountain, but uh, in the summer, I do like sitting outside on the front porch and uh, and smoking a pipe. Um, yeah, so that's that's my beginner story. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good uh, good Wednesday and. Um, I'll talk soon. My name is Luke. I'm the AA Pipe Man. Happy smokes.